Okay, we're going to cross multiply to solve for x in a fraction. So we've got 2 over 3 equals x over 30. We're going to cross multiply. Let's do the 3 times x first since that's what we're going for. So we get 3x equals, and then, oh, 2 times 30, that's going to equal 60. Oh, we've got 3x equals 60. Oh, 3x, we want to divide by 3 to get rid of that uh, coefficient there of the 3. Do that to both sides because it's an equation. We've got to be equal. So x equals, oh, 60 divided by 3, 20. Oh, good, that one's done. Let's do the same thing over here. 3 fourths equals x over 20. We're going to cross multiply. So that's going to give me 4x equals, oh, and then 3 times 20. Man, it's just like we did something very similar. 3 times 20 is also equal to 60. In this case, we're going to divide by the coefficient of x, which is 4. Bam, bam, cancels. Oh, I like that. And then we're going to divide the right-hand side by 4 as well. We get x equals, oh, 60 divided by 4, 15. Okay, last one. Ooh, it's fancy smancy. It's got x in the denominator. 7 over 9 equals 77 over x. We're going to cross multiply. I want to do this one first. Um, it's not showing up like it ran out of ink or something. Okay, so this becomes 7x equals, oh, 77 times 9. Let me do that over here. 77 times 9, 9 times 7, 63, carrier 6, 9 times 7, 63 again, 693, 7x equals 693, boom, I'm going to divide by the coefficient of x, which in this case is 7, do that to both sides, yay, 7's cancel, um, I'm left with x equals 99, if my math is correct in my notes, okay, good luck guys, this method will help you in solving for x terms in the fractions.